it's even though almost it smells like what's it called? Perm, like a perm. Yeah. Um. What's the hair removal stuff? Veet. Uh, is that what it's called? Veet. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> That's it. Nah. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors. Pay for everything on my. Hello guys, it's Connor, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently sitting on the floor of my room. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am getting my brows laminated. I was considering just including this in a weekly vlog, but I felt like I wanted to go more in depth and make a dedicated video to show like how they heal. Is heal the right word? No. How they like go over the next few days and whatnot. So that's what I'm doing. I will include part of it in my weekly vlog as well, but I am just gonna make a dedicated video. So if you've never heard of brow lamination, it's essentially, as far, as far as I know, in the way that you get your lashes like lifted, it's kind of like that, except it just per perm. Perm means curl, doesn't it? But it makes your eyebrows fluffy all the time. A while ago now, I saw a bunch of videos of people getting their brows laminated. I think it's quite big in the UK. I don't know, but I kind of toyed with getting it done. And then where I go get my brows done, she has just started doing brow lamination. So I was like, yes, perfect. I can try it out. So I'm super excited. I, I, I'm so excited to see what it's going to turn out like. I will leave her Instagram down below, um, but she's really amazing. Oh my God, it just went really dark all of a sudden. I have heard a few horror stories about brow lamination, like people just reacting badly to it. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen. Pretty good with most things like that though. Like I don't usually have allergic reactions to things. So I'll show you what my brows look like at the moment. I just literally just brushed them up with some soap residue that was in my spoolie. So this is what we're looking like. I'm assuming she will wax them and then we will also tint them, but I'll let Brooklyn explain all that. So that's what we're looking like. I just realized I can raise my left eyebrow now. Couldn't do that before. <laughs> um, I've watched a few videos on this. I believe they like brush the hairs up and then like flatten them down and like they stay like that. I'm just like yoloing it. I'm just like, yeah, do whatever the heck you want, man. <laughs> Ew, my hair is just not it today. I went to the gym this morning, so we're just not looking great. But I have Faith. I've seen her before in our photos and they look really, really nice. So I'm excited to have fluffy brows all the time now. Yay. Oh, I'm so sore from F45 this morning. Oh my God. If you are interested to see how my brow lamination goes, I will document the process from getting it done because I believe you have to like not get them wet. But yeah, I will see you at the salon probably. Totally fine. I was gonna say, don't oh. peel me because look at my yeah. outfit. <laughs> Probably get you to explain though, like as you're doing it, like how it works and stuff. And the okay. educational video. An educational. <laughs> In the sense that the way lash lifts work, yep. but on your brows. Yep. Right. Exactly that. So instead of having the rod, I'm literally like straightening them out. Yeah. So this I'm just obviously cleansing. And then it's hard to explain, but it's like a kind of like an adhesive. It sounds so much okay. worse than what it is. <laughs> what it does is I'm like going to prep them in place. So okay. it sets them in place ready for your step one, step two, mm -hmm. and step three. So what's this just cleanser? So yeah, this is just cleansing. Okay. But this is not chemical based at all. This is all oh, protein based. Yeah. It'll be good before and after too, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, I feel like when, my, when I get my lashes lifted, it's usually like an hour. Yup. It's cool that I can like watch. Mm. <laughs> so this is like the first step. It's like a step before this first step. Right. It's like a little pre-step. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of like sitting them in kind of in position. Mm -hmm. Obviously it'll move a little bit, but it depends on how sturdy your lashes, uh, your lashes, your brows are. Mm, okay. It just might take me a little bit Yeah, longer. I feel like I have stubborn brows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And another thing is a lot of people think that once they're like set up that they're stuck up, mm -hmm. but they're not. Okay. They're kind of like, rest I'm like restructuring the hairs. They naturally want to fall that way. Yeah. And also like mm. if you want to comb them to the side, they'll stay to the side. If you want to sit them really fluffy and up, they mm -hmm. will stay like that, which is so good. It almost smells like, what's it called? Perm, like a perm. Yeah. Um, what's the hair removal stuff? Veet. Oh. It, kind of, it smells exactly like that. Is that what it's called? Veet? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> That's it. Nah. <laughs> no, Veet, there is such thing yeah. as Yeah. The things we do to our brows, hey? I know. So this is the lifting stage. Mm -hmm. So it's going to lift them in place. And then we've got our step two after, which is fixing them in place. Right. How sexy is this? I know. <laughs> So cute. So this whole video is just my forehead. <laughs> so we leave this on for eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, yep. cool. I was like, eight minutes. <laughs> so I'll wipe this bit off. 
This one doesn't smell as bad. <laughs> no, I low-key like just even like that. I like know. I just love the bushy look. So good, hey. Yeah, I reckon I won't trim yours much at all. I'll just even it out a smidge. Mm. It suits you though. I feel like this one smells like tan almost. Mm. Like the tanning solution. It yeah. does. I'm like, there's your little brow hair there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tidy them up, tint and a wax and a trim. But yeah, your brows are pretty good. Like Wax wise, because it's only yeah, been, hasn't been too long. Yeah, it hasn't been too long. So what actually happens is, um, because you're lifting the hairs up, it shows like the roots a lot more. Oh uh, yeah. If that makes sense. Yours aren't. You've got a lot of like hair there, so it's not like you're really gappy or anything like that. Yeah. It's just good to get the tint like down mm. there as much as possible. It's funny because I haven't waxed yet either. You can see those little hairs. So this just help, helps like nourish mm -hmm. brows. So I'll leave this on for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. And it kind of loosens them back up again because I'm not actually allowed to wet them. Because you know how like with tin I usually wet them? Yeah. To like get rid of the tint. I can't do that so uh -huh. this, this helps. And then I'll be able to brush them all up. Yeah, it's weird because like even though they don't look brushed, I'll be able to clean mm. them up. So then I wipe. Wow, them. I have long ass brow hairs. You sure do. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't cut them yet. So I'm just like combing the serum through, and then I'll wipe it off. Mm -hmm. And obviously, it wipes the smidge of the tint off. But... Yeah, cool. And I always say, like, same kind of thing with tint. Like, if you can avoid just wetting them for 24 hours, just like really settles in on the skin. So when you comb them like that, they should stay like that. Wow. And you don't have to have them like super crazy either. Yeah. Like, you just style them however you want to style them, but they should hold up. And I don't think you would even, depends on the kind of look that you want. Cause mm. if you add your soap brows to it. Right. You don't have to, but you know how it gives it that real like. Waxy. Waxy look. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to damage it or anything. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You can swim. Okay. They're so fluffy. It's so fluffy. Oh my god, that's so cool. So like those ones just needed a yeah. bit more of a tidy up. I feel like I'm doing my hairdressing days again. So they're literally gonna stay like that. Mm -hmm. So <gasps> when you comb them up, they stay up like that. If you comb them like to the side and you want a little bit more of a tailored, kind of tapered look, that's they will stay like that. So cool. How cool is it? Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. It's so cool, hey. Mm. Okay, so I'm back home now. It's getting, it's dark outside pretty much. It's five o'clock. So I'll be able to show you better in natural lighting tomorrow. So I'm not meant to get them wet for 24 hours. So I probably won't go to the gym tomorrow just to be safe. And I have my laser hair removal appointment tomorrow morning anyway. This is what they look like. So they look very brushed up. I'm just gonna like not touch them for the 24 hours. Like I'm sure I wouldn't screw it up anyway, but I'm just gonna leave them. So they're gonna look very bushy but I'm obsessed. So yeah, I can basically brush them in any direction and they're gonna stay like that. I just think that's so cool. It was such an easy process. It probably took like an hour and 15 minutes and we just chatted the whole time. So definitely check her out. I will leave her down below, but I'm so excited to see what they look like. I mean, they're not gonna change tomorrow. Super fluffy. And yeah, so obviously there's a bit of the tint on the skin as well. But yeah, I'll show you guys what they look like tomorrow. And I feel like I'll show you what they look like getting out of the shower. Because I'm curious to see, like, obviously after the 24 hours, but we can have a look at what they look like. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, hello. It is now Saturday, so it's... When I get this on Thursday? Today, no, today is Friday. What am I saying? I just hopped out of the shower. My eyebrow hairs, normally, when I brush them up, they just fall back down into their, like, normal shape. So now when I brush them, I need to look in the mirror. I just brush them up. They stay in whatever position I brush them up in. My face tan is horrendous. My brows did not do that before. Like I can just brush them up and they stay. They just stay in whatever position I brush them in. Brush them up if I want them super bushy. How cool. I am actually obsessed. I'll show you what they look like as well once I have a full face of makeup on, but that's what they look like. Oh, this hair and my eyelash. That's what they look like straight out of the shower. They feel like my eyebrow hairs. I just can brush them in whatever direction I want now. I thought that they were gonna be like flat to my skin. I don't know if like other people's are like that, but I like that mine are like just naturally bushy and just 
do whatever the heck I want now. Okay, so it's now quite a few weeks later since I've had my brows laminated. Um, and I keep forgetting to show you what they look like with makeup on. So I don't have the most amount of makeup on and my eyebrows have grown out a little bit. But this is what they look like. They've got a little bit of soap in them and a little bit of um like gimme brow. I'll take you into my office though and I'll brush them up so you can see like how much hold that they still have. Okay, so this is my brows. I'm just sitting in front of my mirror. I'm just gonna get my spoolie and kind of brush them up. So I can make them really fluffy like this. And like normally they don't, like they still have so much fluff to them, which I love. Like look at that, so good. I need to get them probably done again, like waxed. So yeah, if you want to have them like so bushy like that, you can. Sometimes you make them look a bit crazy, but you can just like literally move the hairs in whatever position and they stay like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little brow lamination video. I'm absolutely obsessed. I definitely want to get this done again once the effects wear off, which I believe they last up to six weeks. It could be six to 10 weeks. I'm not exactly sure. As I said before, I will leave all of Brooklyn's info down below. If you're in Brisbane, highly, highly recommend. But that is it for today's video. As always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.